Many times I teach the shoulder plane rotation this way. Stand up straight, keep your head straight up like this, and then rotate your shoulders so that the club, or if you have a ride like this, stays parallel to the ground on your backswing like this. Now make the same rotation and try to mirror that on your forward swing like that. Now, here's the critical thing. We bend over the ball like this and our spine angle is very, very critical here. Our spine angle should remain the same in the golf swing, but we still turn our shoulders perpendicular to my spine angle this way and then back into the ball that way. But my spine angle remains the same on the backswing and then in, and into the impact area, boom, my shoulders stay on that, on that plane like that, and that keeps your head down. That doesn't allow your head to bob, bob up, but it also makes you turn around the base of your neck, there and there. One of the things I use when I'm trying to teach keeping the spine angle consistent or keeping it the same angle is a white coat hanger. Very simple. What you do, you bend it up, you make a little hole at the top of it there, stick it in the ground, then position it so that you're looking through the hole at the golf ball. When you make your backswing, that ball should be still in the hole like that. When you're making it in the downswing, it should be still in the hole like that. What's that do? It helps promote you turning your shoulders perpendicular to your spine and around and through on the same plane. Sam Snead was a perfect example of keeping his head dead still, turning around the base of his neck or his, his spine, perpendicular to his spine. Now let's try to hit this ball. <laughs> 